There's something about cheese. There's something about naan. There's something about butter chicken. There's something about scallions. Yeah, it's Indian food. That's 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 what I'm trying to. Hello everybody, good morning, it's me Kyle. Day three here in India and I am feeling extremely under the weather. I am getting really sick, but there's no better way to get better than to hop on an Indian train. <laughs> Delhi to Jaipur, join me. As the sun rose, I made my way southwest towards the capital of Rajasthan, Jaipur, about 160 miles away from Delhi. I was especially excited to see this part of India, not only because it was my first time, but because of its desert scenery, and we'll see a lot more desert in future episodes. But this massive area is full of ancient ruins from past civilizations. Today it's home to 75 million people, with about 3 million living in Jaipur. Welcome to the Pink City. As you can see, many landmarks are pink, stemming from a visit from Prince Albert and Queen Victoria, in which this color was used to represent hospitality. Meet Raj, our driver and friend. So Raj took me to this restaurant here, not too far from my hotel in Jaipur. And wow, <laughs> Dali, Rajasthani Dali. Dali, and is a, we are calling to like this restaurant Dava. Okay, Dava. Dava is a, like a cheap food mm -hmm. and good food also. Yes. But if our, your, your stomach is strong, yes. so Very then strong. you're going to eat too. Very food. strong. Some potatoes, some green peas, some chickpeas, dal, uh, and a masala, cheese, cheese masala, vegetarian, North Indian dali. This is, this is beautiful. Okay, so get some of uh, the naan. The traditional way is eat with your hands, right? You have to eat with your hands. Yeah, people right. eat with hands. Uh, yes. So yes? Then, yeah. Oh my if god. No the, co right. the colors are so beautiful. Well, the, the Rajasthani spices are very, very intense. Wow. Oh. Woo. That, that is one of the most flavorful Indian dishes I've ever had. I've had a lot. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm eating. I gotta fold it like this. Yeah. Something like this, right? Yeah. Like this, and then just dip. Yeah. It's so cheesy. Ugh. Uh. I love this. Here we are on top of Jaipur going towards a place called Nahaga Fort. This place is 600 years old and it's pretty evident that India has a rich history and there is no other place full of it than Rajasthan. So these walls here protected the forts from invasion. In fact, a soldier can pierce into a hole like this, see if the enemy is near. If he's near, shoot him through here, through the midway point hole right there. And there's also uh, a smaller hole here if he wants to do a below dart or, a, you know, I don't know. That, that I made up. But everything else is fairly accurate, right? Right here, if you're near, bam, right there. The entrance of the fort is over here. But uh, I don't think we came here for the historical stuff. We came here for Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan right here. Student concession ticket will be approved after show current year identity card. Ah, oh, it has to be the current year. And commercial truck and camera with stand are strictly prohibited without departmental permission. That's gonna be tough because uh, I'm utilizing a tripod to film a lot of this and... Uh So, you know, what's the deal with all these forts? Why does, 
why, why build a fort, right? Why, why build a fort? Well, the reason for building a fort is because there are a lot of kings in India and each king needed some protection, right? And a fort is a great way to... Hello? Oh, shoot, ticket. What did I do with my ticket? Um, all right, so we are officially in the palace. Wow. Okay, actually, now that I think of it, 200 rupees was actually pretty, pretty worth it. A fort, especially this one, was used to house soldiers. And uh, yeah, there were a lot of wars and, and all that back then. Let's, let's check it out. But I think so far, this, this place is uh, pretty, pretty worth the 200 rupees or uh, it was like $3 or something like that to get in. You know, it's pretty, pretty worth it. I mean, look, this stuff is real ornate. I'm, I'm scared to touch it, you know? If I touch it, it might crumble. You know? And if it crumbles, then I gotta pay for it. And I don't have enough money because this is filmed during the Indian cash crisis, so we can't even get money. Even if we have money, we can't even exchange it. The lines are like really long. Anyway, that's for another video another day. Let's go check out this fort. Not be so blatantly obvious that we're shooting. I'm just talking to myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, going through the halls and just telling uh, stories of the past. And hopefully no one's going to realize that I'm recording something. No, just, just walking through. Just walking through. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, wow. This is lovely. This is so narrow. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh schnapps. This, uh, this feels like Morocco, even though I've never been to Morocco. But just look at this landscape right here, guys. Look at this. Vast ornateness. What a view. Yikes. This is what I'm talking about. This is big. Marvel how amazing it is. Rajasthan. Wow, that is marvelous. Okay, let's see what else is here in Jaipur. So, so far, having been in this city for a few hours, uh, I think the biggest difference between here and Calcutta has to be the climate. Uh, it is very dry here, it's a semi-desert, and the sun is a lot more harsh. In fact, we're gonna go closer towards the desert area in the next few days. Uh, so far so good though, I'm actually really enjoying uh, this city and uh, there's uh, lots to eat around here. In fact, uh, let's, let's try something over here. Hi, how much for one? 10 rupees. Okay, can I have one? One. Oh, nice, okay. Okay, thank you. It's like a big rice cracker of sorts. I I'm seeing these uh, for sale all over the place and so I just wanted to try it. It's like a shrimp cracker. Oh man, that's spicy. Woo. Hi, excuse me. Um, how much is the lemon water? What is this? Is it cold? Yes. Okay, I'll try it. I always see these uh, lemon water stands all over and uh, I just wanted to try it. Ooh. Ooh. Common sense it says not to drink from that ice. I have no common sense. Cold lemon water, thank you. Delicious. Refreshing. It's helping my sore it's helping my sore throat as well. Still got those cracker crumbs all over my face. What did I get myself into? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What, are, what am I doing? Hello. I don't know what I'm doing. This is mildly embarrassing, but it's okay. This is either a dream or a nightmare. I don't know. And welcome to Namaste restaurant where um, 
I felt like I needed some meat, some chicken, and so we ordered some chicken tikka, chicken kebab, something, and of course butter chicken. Typical, typical, but quite good. Um, you, you gotta eat the scallions as always with the chutney. Let's just dig in with the cheese naan, which is n not authentic in that sense. Yeah, and this restaurant's kind of. Um, uh, touristy in that aspect, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, I'm feeling really, really ill, so I just need to be off the streets. You definitely need the limes in there. Um, the limes will help make it less salty. And of course, the limes over the scallions will provide a more balanced taste, if I know what I'm even talking about. Mmm, oh wow, mmm. Damn, damn the onions. Now you're probably wondering, how does this compare to the Indian food at home? Well, primarily uh, I've eaten uh, North Indian meat food, right? Like butter chicken, chicken tandoori, lamb birani, stuff like that. But the vegetarian curries and the vegetarian dishes are completely foreign to me because that's not something that I would normally eat back home, right? I've grown accustomed to certain dishes and I've relied on them as my go-to for Indian food. And coming here and eating these similar dishes, I can say that Indian food is quite consistent um, throughout the world. May it be in uh, Sri Lanka, may it be in Malaysia, may it be in Thailand, or Vietnam to some degree. Very consistent. But the cheese naan, I don't know about that. Guys, let me know with a comment down below. Is the cheese naan something that's authentically Indian? Or is that at a more touristy restaurant like the one I'm at here? You tell me. Now, I also want to clarify one thing as well. I'm sick, not necessarily from the food. I just have this uh, cold, this flu-like symptom. It might be from the pollution. It might be from non-stop traveling, or it might be from the food. I don't know. I don't really care. Hopefully, I'll get over it, and uh, I'll be back to my regular self again. Then again, I haven't been sick in over a year, probably. And I don't want to blame it on anything. And I don't want you to think, oh, don't come here. No, you should. I'll get over this. I'll get over this. Okay guys, uh, that's gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on social media to stay up to date with what I'm doing and where I'm at. That's half of the fun, guys. Outside of YouTube is half of the fun. We're staying in Jaipur tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get some more authentic Indian food. Dinner might not have been the most authentic experience. I'm sorry for that. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I've been Kyle, and this is Jaipur, India. Yeah, come in, come in, yeah, it's okay. a movie. You're, now, now you're on YouTube. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been on YouTube before? No. Okay, well now now you're on YouTube. Say hello to hundreds of thousands of people watching right now hello on the world. Hello everybody. <laughs>